Hello guys, how is it going? Today we're going to hugely celebrate the 100 subscriber mark. We are at about 102 now, hit it last night and it's absolutely amazing. The channel is growing and it's just fantastic to be a part of and fantastic to grow something like this. So there's going to be a giveaway in this video. Um, you need to subscribe and comment below to be entered. It's going to be an ebook giveaway and two coaching call giveaways and possibly another cash giveaway as well, depending on the response we get and how many people we get entered. So subscribe, comment below to be entered. But anyway, in today's video, I'm going to be going through how to increase positive reviews. Um, we all use like jump send, email automation campaigns and all these things, but how do we actually decrease the negative reviews we get and any negative reviews we do get, how do we change those and turn them into positive reviews and something that's good for us and can actually help us quite a lot. So that's what I'm going to go through in this video. It's not going to waste any time in getting straight into it. So I wouldn't say this trick is particularly sneaky or particularly like mind blowing or anything. Um, quite a few people do do it, but just for those who don't, it's definitely a good way to decrease the negative reviews and increase reviews altogether and definitely help customers with their buying decision. So I've just gone, I've used this example before on the channel, Tape Gun. So if we just scroll on here, I think it was this one that I've used before. So what we're going to do is if we go onto this listing now, we can do, go down and obviously look at the, the reviews it's got as of yet, which everyone knows how to do. You will know how to like, find the reviews on a listing. Um, but the bit we're going to look at here in like in detail is this bit here, the little comment section. So what you can do with good reviews or bad reviews, um, I normally do it for both good and bad and just all reviews in general. So right now I've gone on to the, to the bad reviews or... These are just bad reviews in general, which isn't great for the seller having bad reviews straight away. But if we look at the reviews, um, plastic expensive fell off first time you used it. So not very good. So if we go to comment here, we can it will bring us to a page where we can write a comment under it. And this is great if you've got a bad review or even a good review to then reply to the review and let the customer know or let future customers know that you're active and you're there and you're willing to solve problems. So if someone's got a problem, as soon as they leave a review, you're there saying, okay, we'll offer you a free product, a discount for another product. And everyone can see that your company is really interested in helping and they're not going to get screwed over. They don't have to be worried about anything. So we can write a review here just saying, we're very sorry for the situation. Um, and just generally go through these points. We're very really sorry for the situation. Um, we're deeply sorry that the, the plastic dispenser is broke. If it would help you um, in any way, we'd like to offer you a 99% discount coupon after this. Or what I normally do is I'll say, please go to like manage orders, click on the order, contact seller, and message me directly so we can resolve the issue to like your satisfaction. And I'll give them like a 100% coupon off for another item. And just try and resolve it that way. But before we actually go down to write review, at the minute, you can see we're posting publicly as Ryan Williams, as myself. Um, that's not what we want to do. So if we click on our name here, it's going to take us to like a little profile bit here. Where we can edit our settings, edit our name, and just change our what we're posting as. So now that it's come up, I can see that I'm posting as Ryan Williams. Um, just all these little stats here don't really matter. So if I click on here, I can change my name to... The, say the company name so I don't know what their their company is called let's just say their company was tape so we could type in tape customer support team press save and now we will be posting as those obviously you want to use capitals because that looks quite shit um, but now we'll be posting as them so if we come out of this now and then go back into it it should show us that our name is updated from Ryan Williams to take customer support team. So then when we comment, that is who it is commenting as. So when we go back onto this now, that should pop up. So take customer support team. So now when we post a comment, it's gonna to show to the person who's written the comment and to any other potential buyers that our customer support team has replied. We will try to rectify the issue and all of these other points. So I think this really helps when the customer has two products and they're undecided. So the first thing you do, you look at the reviews and all the pictures and shit, but once you're done with that, you click on the one star reviews, you look at the bad points. So if I'm also selling tape and we've both got the same bad points, but they can see that the reviews on my product, I've responded to every single one of them or tape customer support has replied to every single one and said, we're very sorry, please message us, we're 
incredibly like mortified over this situation. We want to get it resolved, we want to help you, we want to get you the best product possible. We're going to do everything we can to help you. Then that's going to be a massive like influence and a massive buying decision changer for who's the customer is looking to buy a product. So this is a definitely a back best practice that I use for negative reviews and even positive reviews. Um, if someone's left a good review saying like it's very well made, um, tape's very sticky or whatever, if they're selling tape with it, um, I'd always go in and put just like, thank you so much for your um, kind review. We're very happy to hear that this was sufficient to your needs and that the plastic or the, the product was sufficiently durable or whatever they said in their review, I like to outline it in the, the comment just to like know that it's a personalized response and just try and make it a bit a bit funny, almost like a conversation and just definitely get it going. So if I was going to go write this review now, what I'd be very inclined to do is to put loads of keywords in it. So if I was going to say, we're very sorry to hear that you didn't find our tape gun sufficient and just put as many keywords in as possible because that's still going to be recognized as Amazon, by Amazon for the amount of keywords and the same keyword coming up again and again in your listing. They're going to recognize that and you're going to get, it's not going to make a massive impact, but every little bit helps in just getting you ranked more for that certain keyword. So if you are going to try and do that, just if you're trying to uh, rank for durable um, tape gun, just try and just slip that in there without obviously making it sound like it because you are trying to provide like customer support here and not this isn't your main goal to stuff it with keywords but nonetheless it's definitely a good practice to do and it's definitely going to decrease your negative reviews if i've responded to this now as tape customer support team offer them 100 percent off coupons and everything i can to improve their buying experience with myself if this was my product then it might uh, incline them to remove the comment or change the comments maybe increase it to a three or four star saying we had this problem but the customer support team was amazing. Customer support was so good that we got low, we got their free product. It worked greatly. They worked with us. And it's going to decrease your negative reviews and show future customers how good your customer support is and that you're willing to help them. So that's just a little top tip that I would definitely recommend you doing. It literally takes five minutes to reply to a review. So it's really just not that time consuming and it definitely helps. So I'd really recommend doing that. Don't forget about the giveaway happening. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Comment below and you'll be entered into the ebook giveaway and the two coaching calls and a possible cash giveaway depending on how many signups we get. So that ends it for this one. I hope you all enjoyed it and I'll see you all in the next video.